Hello, peeps. How are you all today? I'm very, very well, very, very excited and planning 2021. And I thought I'd share it with you because I've come across some amazing festivals and events come going on this year, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, and I'm putting them all on the planner and I want to run through it with you now and maybe give you some ideas of where to go this year. So let's just turn you around and have a look at the planner. So here we are, 2021, and I've been filling them out. So, all the red ones, which I've wrote on there, these are all motorhome and caravan shows, all to do with motorhoming. Um, there's the M and C, motorhome and caravan, and there's some which are C and M, caravan and motorhome. I think it's like two different companies doing them. So I've slapped them on... The map there so you know if you want to look them up if anyone's interested in going on any but that's not what i'm talking about today i'm talking about the blue ones now this is nowhere near fully filled in or anything i've just started it but these are the ones i've found to start with um i'm going to go through them all one by one so i'm not going to tell you about them now but just to give you an idea that is the only one we've booked with the yellow stickers and all the others, we're waiting for Boris Johnson to see if we can actually go anywhere. So, we'll wait and see. So most of these are going to be places where you can camp overnight in a motorhome. Some of them you won't be able to. Um, but I'll run through them anyway. There's festivals, some of them go on as long as a week, some of them are two days. And then we're coming later on in the video, I'm going to go through a lot of quirky things to do. Where I am planning this year to become a world champion. No, I'm serious. I really, really am. So the first festival is called Wild Festivals. Now, this is probably the cheapest one we've come across. The price is extraordinary. Aimed at families. There's seven events throughout the year, I believe. And I'm just going to concentrate on the one in North Yorkshire for now to give you an example. Now, the North Yorkshire one is 25th of July to the 1st of August. They're all, I believe, in summer holidays, or they've tried to put them all in summer holidays for the kids. Um, £40 per adult for the entire week, I believe. <laughs> you know, these are just what I found online, so don't, don't hold me to these. £40 per ticket per adult, and then £5 per person for camping per night doesn't matter what you're staying in whether it's a tent or a motorhome it's the same price for everybody so for an entire week you can go to this event for 150 pounds how incredible is that um, it's limited to 499 people so you would have to book these quick i can imagine them selling out very quickly um, and it's all like live music entertainment workshops things like that and the one in York, for example, in North Yorkshire, it's got a th they've all got themes to them. And the one in North Yorkshire is superheroes theme. So you can go dressed up as superheroes and just have a great family week for as little as 150 quid for two adults. That is incredible. So I've had a shave. I've had my hair cut. I've changed my top. It's a new day. It doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter. Just carrying on, yeah? So the next festival is Truck Fest. Now there's eight Truck Fests planned throughout the year. All the dates are already set out. Remember, all these dates, it all depends on Boris Johnson and the lockdown rules and restrictions, etc, etc. But as things stand, these are what uh, are there. So we've got eight two-day events. Uh, I'm presuming they're all going to be pretty much the same, just in different parts of the country. You've got monster trucks, arena stunt shows, sounds pretty cool. Uh, you can meet celebrities, children's characters, have exhilarating rides and see some incredible trucks. Just sounds like my kind of thing, this. You know, I've been to like a, a stunt thing with big trucks, with, you know, with the 10 foot wheels, the really big things. I've seen them before in my hometown when I was a kid and loved it. So Truck Fest is something we're going to be looking out for this year. For two people camping for three nights in a motorhome, which includes Saturday night entertainment, uh, I've worked it out, £75. Absolute bargain. So yeah, we're going to try and get to one of them. Winster Fest. 
It's so it's so tempting to say Winterfest, but it's Winsterfest in Matlock, Derbyshire. Uh, May the 28th to the 31st, that's when the events are on. £40 each and pan uh, camping in a tent or a motorhome, doesn't matter which, is free. So, and that's for the entire weekend. So I'm guessing, working this out, it's just going to be £80 if me and Mazzy wanted to go for the full weekend. Um, I don't know if that's just overnight or two nights stay. I'm guessing it's two nights stay. And you've got, it's just a music festival, well, I think. You've got things like Chef Leopard and Motley Crude. So they're all like famous bands with changed names. So I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of um, tribute bands. So that sounds pretty cool. Retro Festival. Right, there's two of these. Uh, one in Newark in June and one in Newbury in August, planned so far. Um, I, I don't know, I like the adverts for this. It sounds like it's going to be a really good crack. Wings, wheels, speed, steam, music, dance and bands. You don't need any more for an advertisement, do you? They've got air shows, um, stalls there, lots of bands. Four nights and camping and a weekend pass for all events for two people without electric hookup. £180. I think that's pretty good for what it's going to offer. And as I say, if the first one is cancelled because the Covid restrictions aren't lifted in time, you've got the chance of the one in August, so keep your, your eyes peeled for that one. Towerfest Country Music Festival is due to take place 17th to 20th of June in Selby, North Yorkshire. It's all country and western music, it's just a music event, but you can have music and dance lessons as well. There's trade sh uh, stands there and it says, and a shootout. I'd like to know what the shootout is. Uh, can you, do you take your own guns? Are you provided with guns? Can you shoot people? I can't see it, can you? But if you're interested in country and western, it's not my kind of music. But I do fancy, you know, standing in lines and doing all that line dancing business. It might be, you know, if you've got the weather, I think that could be a good a good do. £150 for two people for a full four-day weekend with a motorhome. Again, reasonable price for a full weekend. And you're going to just be entertained. I don't know if any of the country singers are well known. I'm guessing some of them are in the field. Um, but I've never heard of them because it's not my kind of thing. But we might be going to that. You never know. Next up is Twinwood Festival. Now this is the one me and Mazzy have booked. Um, we've booked, I think we get five nights of camping. Entry to all the sites, electric hookup, everything we, everything the place has to offer. I think £340 we've paid for that five days, five, well five nights. Um, we're going for it. This is the big, this is like our holiday for the year, if you like. They've even got museums there. It's like, it's old music from like the 20s up to the 60s, everyone dresses up, you've got uh, Mr and Mrs Vintage, so you can, you know, the pick the winners, the best dressed people, you can learn how to do the jive and Charleston, Charleston, Char I always get that wrong. Uh, there's lots of shopping places and lots and lots of bands, there's far too many for me to go into. None of them are well known, but I should imagine a lot of them are going to be like 1920s, 1930s style uh, singing and dancing. Really, really looking forward to it. Something a bit different, something a bit retro, something right up our street. Vintage. As far as the big festival type events, this is the last one I'm going to tell you about. There's loads more. But I'm just picking some out for you. Uh, this is called the End of the Road Llama Tree. L-A-R-M-E-R -E Tree. Uh, Llama Tree Gardens. 2nd to the 5th of September. I'm not sure where Llama Tree Gardens is. But this is a proper big music festival. It's not a Glastonbury, but it's big. It's got some big names there, including the Pixies this year. Now, I remember listening to the Pixies when I was... 18, 19. So they're a cool band. King Cruel, you might have heard of him. Big Thief, Bright Eyes, Little... I, I've not heard of any of the others, I'll be honest, but there's hundreds and hundreds of them there. This is a big one, um, and it comes at a price. £513 for two adults in a motorhome for the full weekend. That's what I worked it out as. So 
you know, if you're into your music, look at, you know, I've put a list on there, some of the people who were on. If you recognise some of them, it might be for you. Right, I'm going to move straight on now to some more unusual places or places which haven't been announced yet. Do you like steam or traction engines? Do you like them? Well, this is Pickering Traction Engine Rally. Um, the North's biggest steam event. It was actually one of you guys. Thank you very much for suggesting this place to go to. Um, we've looked into things like this in the past because Maz is really interested in steam for some reason. It's just loads of traction engines, uh, tractor pulling, stuntman shows, classic cars, vintage motorbikes. There's no prices or dates set as yet. There's one thing which is going to be there, and Maz has been going on at me. Will you take me there? Will you take me there? It's been shut or it's closed down. I don't know which it is. It's the Scarborough Fair collection, just down the road from here. Um, she's wanted to see all the old fairground rides and things. You know, it's it was a museum in Scarborough, but it's shut. I don't know if it's reopening, but apparently that's going to be there, so you can actually see all the Scarborough Fair things there. So, Pickering Steam Fair, I don't think that's going to be an expensive one. I do think you can stay overnight with motorhomes, um, and I think it's on for a couple of nights, so we're looking forward to that. There is other traction engine rallies around the UK, um, but that's the big one in the north, that's where we want to go. So now on to the really weird and wonderful. I did say I want to become a world champion this year, and I wasn't joking, and I am planning on being one. The first option, the first opportunity I've got to becoming a world champion is the World Snail Racing Championships in Congham in Norfolk. Now, I've been looking into this. You need certain snails, you need to get loads and then give test runs to them, throw the other ones back and just keep the fast ones, certain kinds, feed them on certain things. It's a very professional sport. Now, I have noticed a lot of kids enter this. I don't know if that's a separate category or not, but this lady won it last year. Um, and, it, you know, it looks quite a strong snail does that, but I reckon I can beat it. So I'm hoping to enter that. I can't guarantee it yet, but uh, with no date, I'm certainly going to keep my eye out, out on that one and keep researching snails and uh, just in case I do enter and become a world champion. But if I don't win that one, this is the one I think I'm going to win. Are you ready for this one? World's Biggest Liar Competition, Championships, whatever, 2021. It's in November. They haven't said which November date it's going to be yet. It's in a pub called The Bridge Inn in the Lake District. They do it every November. They haven't done it for the last year because of Covid or a year or two. But there's a campsite right next door to it. So if we can get on that campsite the night before, we can go to the world's biggest liar competition. And if you win, you get your name on a, on a trophy and you get to hold it up. The Guardian, um, the Daily Mirror, they were all there last time, 2019. Got the picture in Paperwick Cup, world's biggest liar. So I'm I think I'm going to enter that one. If I can get on that campsite and we can get there in November, uh, expect to see me as a world champion. So the next one is the World Stone Skimming Championships. Now every man thinks he's the best skimmer in the world. What I will say is the last time I went skimming I felt like my arm had come out of the socket. It's something you need to practice a lot so I need practice, practice if I'm going to empty this. I can't talk today can I? I need to practice if I'm going to enter this. It's at Eastdale Island off the west coast of Scotland. And just to give you an idea, the woman winner last in 2019, she did 41 metres. So it's not about how many skims, it's about how far it can go, how they measure it and all that stuff, I don't know. But you know, if you're on the west coast of Scotland, something worth looking to enter, you could become a world champion. That's what life's about, innit? You've got to die being able to tell the world or something on your gravestone saying this is what they did with their life. You know, if I win Dan, the biggest liar 2021 world champion, 
At least I've, you know, it's not the best thing to brag about, but at least it's something I've done in my life and beat everyone else in the world at. So this is a backup World Stone Skimming Championships. I might enter, might not. I love this next one, I really do. Ergmont Crab Fair, I don't know if I've said Ergmont right. Ergmont Crab Fair and Gurning World Championships. Do you know what Gurning is? It's when you pull fully fa funny faces like... I'm not right good at it, but I'd love to go and see other people doing it. Um, this is an old flyer I've just put on now. This is from 2019, I think. But they've got a free concert on, dancing in the streets, an apple cart. I don't know what that is. I think I think they actually have a cart full of apples and throw it into the audience. I, do, I don't know the story behind that. But it's just like a fun day for that entire village or town, whatever it is. And at 6pm, you've got the World Gurning Championships. Now, the picture I've seen of this man, his teeth are like sticking out of his ear almost. If he won it last time, surely he's going to win it again. Nobody could ever gurn as ugly as he just gurned. Um, but I'm looking forward to that, and there's a fun fair and rides as well. Two more to go, two more to go. World Gravy Wrestling Championships. Oh yes, this is in Rossendale in Lancashire, using only the finest Lancashire gravy. That's what they say. Um, they're looking for 16 men, 8 women, to go in fancy dress. You know, it's not the first time, they've done it for a few years. They go in fancy dress and have 4 fights. And the winner gets a trophy with the name on saying I am the World Gravy Wrestling Champion. So again, it's something I might consider. But the one problem with that is I would have to fight against other men. And I'm not very strong or fit. And grave is slippy, so I don't know if I'm going to enter that one or not, but again, sounds like a really good day out. Last but not least, I've heard of this event for hmm, 10, 20 years. The Bog Snorkeling World Championships in Wales. August the 29th, they've said it's going to be this year. It started out in 1976 as part of a bar bet, is what they think, uh, which sounds about right. 160 people-ish take part, it's £15 to enter, and what you have to do is two laps of a bog while snorkelling, ideally in fan fancy dress, um, over a 180 foot bog lane in Wales. Uh, the stalls, crafts, live music and bouncy castles. When I first heard of this, I thought that is the most unusual thing I've ever heard of. That sounds fantastic. I have to go there one day. So I want to go, just it's, it's been on my bucket list for a long, long time. But I do think, you know, I think the thing I'm going to win is the World Liar Championships. Um, and I might win the World Gravy Wrestling Champion. I don't know, I don't know, but I'm entering a few just to make sure I win one. So that is my full list, people. You know, I've just picked a few things out. There's loads more which are going to be announced. We don't know what the lockdown rules and social distancing rules are going to be. So we'll just have to hold fire and uh, wait to see what happens. If you know of any other festivals, amazing days out like these, uh, please let me know. Email us at TravelTrollsTV at Hotmail.com or leave a comment. Thanks for watching, people. Catch you all very soon on Travel Trolls TV. Goodbye! Thanks for watching! Please comment and hit the like button. That helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.